Where he won with a spectacular Don't. jumping knee, retaining Ready. his world title over Willy Burrell of Mongolia. Now, interestingly, Nagimbi won the title wow. in Athens in 2010 with a five-round decision over Murat Tureki. So can Tureki get some form of revenge here tonight? Michael Chavello, Frank Trigg with you. Nagimbi, who was born in Kinshasa, Zaire, now fighting out of Valkensvard in the Netherlands. He was born with a weak heart. Doctors found it would make him hard for him to survive his first year. Spent his child in the African country. His family was forced to leave Africa when he was just 11 years old due to the civil war and the fact that his father had served in the political party of the recently ousted president, Mobutu Sese Seko. There's the jumping knee from Nagimbi. He's had a bit of a haircut since we saw him in Lyon, where he was sporting quite the Jackson 5 Afro. I actually like that haircut better. <laughs> Did you ever sport the Afro yourself, Frank, as a young yeah. boy? Yeah, 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 full. Very luxurious my hair was. <laughs> <laughs> I can't comment, Frank. It's been 13 years since my last trend of hair. See, it's, it's funny. I still have hair. I can grow a full head right now. I just don't want to. Ooh, jumping knee, right hand from Nagimbi. Oh, beautiful popping short. Referee doesn't put a count here on Dereki, but it's a great start from Nagimbi. He's very reminiscent of a middleweight Remy Bunjaski. Here's Chris Nagimbi. He does come in here tonight on a terrific five-fight win streak, dating back to 2009. Two-time WKA World Muay Thai champion. On his first WKA belt in 2005, a third-round knockout of Thai star Kun Pon. On his second title in 2007 against Canadian Shane Campbell, who he decisioned in Richmond, Virginia. Right-hand lead snakes it through the defense there, does Nagimbi. Come on. Fight. doing a great job. Every time on the break, he's getting his back to the ref and throws another shot on the inside right after his call break. So right when the Gimby stopped fighting, he gets a knee shot right into the, the leg or right into the, into the hip area. Tarecki looking to put Nagimbi against the ropes. Tags him with the right hand. Double butterfly punch almost there from the Turk. They lock up in tango against the ropes. The referee calls break. Uppercut from Nagimbi. He likes to fire the shots from awkward angles, Chris Nagimbi. I'll tell you what, Frank, one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet too, Chris Nagimbi. Tells me he's a big fan of HDNet, though I don't know how he gets it in Europe. Other than means, I could say that aren't <laughs> commonly legal. He does love watching HDNet fights. They're probably legal in Europe. <laughs> Ten seconds left on the clock here in the first. That won't be a knockdown. Nagimbi's got one of the best jumping knees that he throws almost like it's a front kick or, or a quick quick inside kick to the inside line. He just he jumps that knee up all the time. I would say he is the premier flying knee artist in the world, Chris Nagimbi. He'll take the first round here against Murat Dereki. A little bit more on the background of Dereki. For those of you who don't know, it's actually a very sad family story for Murat. He was born the youngest of three siblings. His sister Nure died at the age of four due to a brain tumor. And his brother Erkan died in 2004 at 29 years old in a traffic accident. Comes in tonight going 6 and 4 in his last 10 directly, including a win over Gago Drago in 2009. He was actually the first ever It's Showtime 70 kilo world champion. As I said, Nagimbi won that title from Dereki in Athens in Dereki's last fight. A little bit of welting under the left eye there of the Turk. Come on. Look corner. Look corner. Come on. Here's a hard riddle to solve. Chris Nagimbi comes in at plus 215 in this fight. Direcki. Round two. I should say Nagimbi at minus 190. Direcki at plus 250. It's a good spread on, on this fight. It, it's it's obviously solid. Simply because that. Uh, oh, right hand turns him. That was just yesterday. Wow. Last time there was a slight knockdown as well, and last time they fought, and it just happened again. Okay. No doubt about that one. Corner. Nagimbi opening up like a house of fire. Looking to finish here on the second. Jumping me! Have a look at Chris Nagimbi go now! Just manhandling directly. 
And the Gibo does a good job that when Durecki steps inside, he completes the punch. So if he misses with the fist, he'll catch you with the inside of his forearm, he'll catch you with the inside of his bicep. And right there against the ropes the last time, he caught Durecki straight inside of the head with the bicep. It's a nice Muay Thai dump there by Durecki. And just a note for mixed martial arts fans, because I've been preaching this for years. You see how Durecki ended up in the mount? More MMA fighters should try it out. The Muay Thai dump to a full mount or side control of an opponent. Anyway, I digress. Back to the kickboxing. Very good point, though. Very valid point. <laughs> I actually try to start using it in my training. Try to get on top that way. Step through Nate from the Gimby. Uppercut from Derecki. He's just pulling his punches in a little too much here, Murat Derecki. Needs to get some more extension. That's better. Right hand uppercut, right hook. Three punches landing for Murat Derecki. Well, Murat's trying to come back in now with it. Great, great uh, jumping knee. He got caught by two left hooks right after it. The winner of this one will take on either Shahid Olad Al Hajj or Robin van der Smalen in semi final number two. If you just joined us, semi final number one is set with Andy Sauer to take on Arta Kashenko. Referee's going to take a look at that huge welt under the eye of Derecki. It's been cut now. Quite a nice hematoma. Oh, look at that. Good right hand lead from Derecki. And you can bet that McGimby, for as nice of a guy he is outside the ring, is going to go after that cut inside the ring. Yeah, rightfully so. You, know, you want to get out of this fight as quick as you can. You know, whether it's, especially when you fight another time of night, whether or not it's simply by. Cutting him, you get in the fight to stop it, or knocking him out, you want to get out of the fight as quickly as possible. I dare say, though, Derecki has tagged Nagimbi with several shots in this fight that a more power puncher like Arta Kashenko may have dropped Nagimbi with. Yeah, I, believe, I think so, too. I think Kashenko's right now is in the best spot to win the whole thing. Now we've gone through the, the top side of the bracket and seeing what's left, simply because he had such a good rest before he has to meet up with Sauer later tonight. Trade of knees in the center of the ring, a little bit scrappy. Come on. Good counter left from the Gimby. Tarecki catches it with the right hand. The free will put a count here. No. Well, there's no reason why he should have stopped it there. He warned the Gimby for turning his back. I thought he may have put a standing count on it. I think a standing eight count in that position would have been justified. He spun him around enough to yeah. turn his back on his opponent, could have stopped him, put an eight count standing. Yeah, I believe so too. Tarecki could feel a little hard done by there. Two rounds down, one remaining. Oh, Tarecki's cut on his nose as well as on his eye. Three cuts under the eye, on the nose, above the eye. Jeez. He's starting to get lit up, and that's all right hands coming at him. That's what he's getting hit by, is all these right hands. So you got to be careful. Now, going into this third round, what's going to happen? Because you see, every time you get your head pulled down, you're going to get dropped, and that's a right hand. I actually put him on the canvas. It was a straight, short uh, right hand on the inside as soon as he got let go. It's a big deal. you got to be careful now. You get knocked down once. I know he's recovered. He's back into it, but directly he's got to be careful because all the cuts are on that side of his head. He's got to keep his left hand up to keep from getting hit. Nice takedown right in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm telling you. Coach is out of the ring, please. One. Last round. Second. Good luck. That could have 